Hey y'all, it's the crazy calendar lady. I told you I knew what I was going to wear for Gaudi Day. <laughs> uh, it had lights on it, but I think my batteries went out. Yep. <laughs> okay, can I get rid of this thing now? Um, <laughs> so, did you, uh, did you face any of your fears today? Uh, did you play any golf? I put mulligans down in the, um, in the description. Um, if you don't know, mulligan is kind of like an informal thing in, uh, in golf where you get a chance to do a do-over if you mess up, but technically it's illegal in the rules of golf. Okay, I'm taking this thing off now. That's my gaudiness. Bye-bye. <laughs> and there's that. <laughs> uh, did you say thank you to your pharmacy assistant? Um, did you uh, do anything? Face some fears? Go out and maybe, I don't know, do some public speaking or something. That can be... Depending on who you are, that can be terrifying or uh, <laughs> or fun, you know. Um, did you eat any prunes? Um, I did not. <laughs> um, so, it is October 17th. It is Tuesday. And today is all of those days. Tomorrow, however... <laughs> Uh, the 18th is Hagfish Day, which is celebrated on the third Wednesday of October. These things are kind of ugly, but <laughs> we have a day for them. <laughs> it is Medical Assistant Recognition Day. So if you know a medical assistant, just say hi. You know my thing. Make them a card. Just say thank you. You know, um, tell them a funny joke. Do something to make their day a little brighter. Um, maybe a flower or something. Um, it is National No Beard Day. I know a couple people that probably would not uh, like that. They're very attached to their facial hair. <laughs> there are actually uh, several contests throughout the world um, that... Um, judge facial hair, and these guys go all out, um, styling it, and waxing it, and curling it, and putting it up in different ways, um, a lot more work than I want to do, obviously. <laughs> it is National Support Your Local Chamber of Commerce Day, um, definitely want to, um, you know, keep money in the local economy, um, what is that they say? Think, think global, act local. Um, so, huh. it is also World Menopause Day. Again, getting conflicting information. So I know that we talked about that on, on Grouch Day. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, kind of understanding, um, how it affects people, you know, and, um, what we can do about it, because it's very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, it is National Chocolate Cupcake Day, so go out and make yourself some chocolate cupcakes, or get some, or have a bake sale, or do something fun, you know, some people can have chocolate. Most people can have chocolate, and chocolate is good. Some people can't. I know that it uh, can trigger migraines and stuff. So if you can enjoy chocolate, go for it. Have some for me. Not a big sweet tea. <laughs> um, it is Child Health Month. So um, I know that um, vaccinations have been a controversial issue lately. Um, so, you know, um, just make sure they're, you know, doing the washing their hands thing and, you know, keeping safe, um, taking care of themselves, know what to do in case of an emergency, that kind of thing. Um, kids are smart. <laughs> 
and they learn so much faster than we do. So that's that's um that's pretty awesome. It is Family History Month. Now, oh, I have a warning. <laughs> when you do those DNA test thingies, read the fine print because some of them say we get to keep your DNA. Um and like people have been turned down for healthcare uh, insurance because of that. So just be careful if you're gonna if you're gonna do the DNA testing thing. But maybe sit down with your family and make a family tree. Put pictures, you know, um, make it interesting, colorful, not just oh there's square here and a square there, unless that's what you want to do. You know, I'm not telling you what to do. Um, also, it's long term care planning month. Um, this is something that I've always been told um, to make sure that you have, because you never know what's going to happen, you know? I mean, something could happen tonight, and I could end up in the hospital. Hope not, but, you know, accidents happen. Um, so um, look into um, getting a power of attorney, a living will, um, those kind of things, and um, a lot of places, I think the Legal Aid Society has people that will work with you um, pro bono. Um, they have to have like so many hours of pro bono per year or something um, if you can't afford an attorney, um, but making sure that, you know, even when it comes to later on in life, you have a plan in place, you know, um, it never hurts to be prepared. And now that we are getting kind of close to it, it is Halloween Safety Month. Um, it's my favorite holiday! Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I live in a neighborhood where we don't really have trick-or-treaters. Um, but I love all the costumes, all the kids running around, even the grown-ups running around having a good time. Um, I used to work in a place that sold costumes, and oh my gosh, it was awesome seeing all the creative things that people did, and um, so many artistic, amazing things. Um, and it's one day where, you know, you can totally be yourself, or you can totally be something else, and either way, it's cool, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, making sure you're driving slowly if you're in an area that has, you know, kids that are trick-or-treating. Um, wear something reflective. Make sure that people can see you. Carry a flashlight with you. Um, just being careful. Um, I know hospitals used to have where you could take your candy and they would x-ray it. Um, I don't know if they do that anymore, but, you know, you might want to go through the kids' bags, not just to steal all their chocolate, but just to make sure everything's safe, you know. Um, walk, uh, looking both ways before you cross the street, you know, kind of common sense stuff. Um, okay, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing, adopt a shelter dog month. So... I love animals. I love them. I love them. I love them. But I'm really bad at taking care of them. Um, and it has been in the news a lot about um, puppy mills and how crowded they are and how bad they are and how dirty they can be. Um, and uh, what it would, oh gosh, a slogan. Uh, adopt, don't shop. I think that's what it is. <laughs> so if you are thinking about getting a dog, um, I would really encourage you to get one from a shelter. Like I said, can't tell you what to do, not trying to, but you know, especially with all this horrible weather things that have been going on, um, and euthanizations and such. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. And stuff like that. You know, these, these dogs deserve a loving home too. You know, and and a lot of them, some of them have been through very stressful situations and they may take a while to adjust. 
and some of them are awesome right out of the gate <laughs> i have a friend that works with them and she has had some that have had a very difficult start and after a few months they are wonderful and then she adopts them out she fosters them and then um the shelter adopts them out and that way they don't get put down you know um so, okay, now I'm going to stop. <laughs> There's more. There's always more. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go make some cupcakes. Uh, don't shave if you don't want to. <laughs> Call your mom. Uh, and I would say don't eat any hagfish. I'm not even sure if it's edible or not. <laughs> It's just ugly. Anyway, take care. Have a great night. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. See you then. Bye.